It's in your choosing that your character is formed, which gives you the right kind of direction in your life. Choice and deliberation. Give me an example of an unwilling act that we do. Well, like when I was younger and you had to clean up, your mom made you clean up your room and you didn't want to clean up your room, but you did it because you were so, kind of forced to. Is, by the way, a perfect example because the hard choices typically involve some element of duress. So when you're a child, your parents do that for you, right? They, in the end, there really isn't an option when you're not of age, right? Because you're a long way from being mature enough to take off and leave them and uh, might not be able to make it stick if you did. What is the process by which choices are produced? Is that what we call deliberation? It is, explain that. So deliberation, instead of debating about what the ends are of our actions, Deliberation is about selecting the best means by which we attain those ends. So liberation is not about ends. Where do ends come from? Our nature. Our nature? Our nature cultivated? It says wish. So ends are wished for. And I, I guess depending on your nature, you're going to wish for better or worse ends because of what they desire. So good nature will desire better ends than a bad nature. It's a, this demand of leading a life of character, an ethical life. It's in your choosing that your character is formed, which gives you the right kind of direction in your life. We're about to see when we separate uh, each act into its component parts, it's always made up of two things, what you want and an estimation of the circumstances. And what you want is, is achieved, the right thing, by practice and, and thought about what the right way to live is and what the right kind of person is and about what the ultimate ends are. And remember, you're making these deliberations, if they're the kind that are meaningful in the shaping of your character, you're making them under pressure. It means they're stakes. It means that you might get hurt or fail to get some large benefit. It means that you're likely to be tired. It, you have to decide right now, and you can never be sure, because you can never be sure of the future. You can never be sure of the consequences of what you do. You have to make a guess. And you get better at that by trying it, but the guessing part itself, because what matters the most, what is the thing when you make a choice that matters the most about whether it tends to build virtue in you or not? What is that thing? Intention. Intention. What do you want? When you get older, you'll figure this out. The what you want part, when you make a choice, will be more important to how you remember the choice and how you regard yourself than what specifically you chose to do and what the result was. You, you ever crashed a car? Yep. Any of the girls ever crashed a car? Yeah, see, don't we resent that, guys? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it doesn't seem fair, but it does seem true, doesn't it? I crashed them all the time when I was a kid. Why? Because I didn't, you know, I never crashed one bad, but you know, and my dad was not a rich man. I'd break his cars. And uh, why? I was young and stupid, inexperienced, you see. So just remember, even in this formative time in your life, what you seek is, is the thing that has to be got right. And if you get used to that, you'll get better and better at the job of seeking it. That's what changes your character. That's what shapes it, forms it, and makes you what you are. I'm Larry Arn, president of Hillsdale College. You will find if you look at our online courses that they cover the whole range of human learning, all the high and fundamental things everyone needs to know. They are free because we have always wished to provide sound learning 
to anyone who wishes to have it.